Hello guys. Welcome to the 6th episode of our Fishy Matters. In this episode, we will talk about the fish external parts. Fish made several adaptations over time to survive better in the environment. Different fish species have different appearances, but the function of their external anatomical features, is similar. The external parts of fish, can tell us a lot about the species, such as Where does it lives in the water? How it finds food? And how it protects itself from predators? These can be answered based on the external features of the fish. Studying the external parts of the fish, is under the field of morphology. What is morphology? It is a branch of biology, dealing with forms and structure of organs, or other parts of organisms, and their specific structural features. It also deals with the form and structure of organisms as a whole. Fish have variety of forms, separating different groups of fishes, and these forms are the basis of identification in some groups. Fish external parts covers from scales to skin. This photo shows the basic external anatomy of a teleost, or bony fish. You can see the head, the eyes, and the operculum, the fins, and the scales, among others. This figure shows the external anatomy of a shark showing its lateral view. You can also see the different components, such as the head, the trunk, and the tail. Internal anatomy of a ray. In the left side is the dorsal view. In the right side is the ventral view. What are the different forms or shapes of fish? We will discuss that in the next part of this episode. Fish exhibit bilateral symmetry. Which means, what is seen in the left half, can also be seen in the right half. The fish body shape is directly related to its lifestyle. Fast swimming fish have streamlined body that helps them move through the water column. This includes sharks, tuna and tuna-like species. On the other hand, laterally compressed species are found in coral reefs, kelp beds, and rocky reefs. This is efficient enough for burst swimming to escape enemy and capture of food. Species with this shape are the wrasses, damselfishes, and butterfly fishes, among others. Others have flattened from top to bottom, an adaptation on living in the bottom near the surface. This include flounders, flatfishes, ang rays. Elongated fish, such as eels, trumpet fishes, and pipe fishes, swim and live in narrow spaces in rocks and coral reefs, and vegetation. Some body shapes are also used for camouflage. Pipefish resembles eel grasses. And stonefish as stones. There are seven types of fish body forms or shapes. This include the Fusiform Compressiform Depressiform Anguilliform Filiform Diniform And Globiform The first type of body form is Fusiform. Fusiform is found in fish with elongated, streamlined, and torpedo-shaped body. It is partner with pointed head, ending in a terminal mouth, and with a strongly forked tail. The fins are usually evenly distributed, for stability and maneuverability. This is adaptive for pursuing, and fast swimming in open waters. Fish with this type of body shape are the tunas, sailfishes, and marlins. The second type of body form is the compressiform. Fishes with compressiform body shape have thin and laterally compressed body, with body depth at least one-third of its standard length. The dorsal and anal fins are typically long, while the pectoral fins are located high on the body, and pelvic fins immediately below. They are found in one small area, such as coral reefs, seagrass beds, sandy bottom and estuaries. Examples of fishes which exhibited this body form are the butterfly fishes, angel fishes, and carangids. Depressiform is the third type of body form or shape. Fish with compressed body forms are thin, flattened and compressed dorsoventrally. They evolve to live on sea floor, feeding on organisms in the mud and sand. They are usually found buried in sand with only eyes showing, waiting to attack their prey. Fishes with this body forms are the flatfishes, flounders, and rays. Anguilliform is the fourth type of body form or shape. Anguilliforms have eel-like bodies, which greatly elongated or attenuated. It is also coupled with small, embedded scales, but are absent in some species. It is effective in hiding in crevices in the reefs, and rocks for prey ambush. Examples of fish with this type of body form are the eels, loaches, and gunnels.
The fifth type is the filiform. Filiform have thread-like body structure. Some usually blend or camouflage with their environment, and have the ability to shadow stalking, especially when capturing prey. Pipe fishes, Cygnathidae, are the examples of fish which exhibit this body form. The next body shape is the Teneniform. Teneniform have elongated and ribbon-like body shape. They are exhibited by the Elvers or eel larvae, Anguillidae. The last example of body form is the Globiform. Globiform have subcircular and semi-spherical body shape. They appear larger and more frightening, which serves as their defense mechanism. They wedge themselves in coral crevices more securely, especially when threatened. Other species may have toxic or poisonous spines. Pufferfish, boxfish and porcupine fish have this type of body form. That's all for today folks. I hope you learned something from me about external parts of the fish. In the next episode, we will tackle about the body fins of the fish. See you. Bye bye.